In this lecture, we will talk about an important property of standard ML uh, as a programming language, which is that uh, standard ML uh, assigns types to the values, and uh, hence uh, ML is a uh, strongly typed typed uh, programming language. Uh, to illustrate this, let's take some bindings that we saw last time. Let me change this to for example. Okay, so uh, here are some bindings in standard ML. Recall uh, in the last lecture we said that standard ML is all about bindings, variable bindings. So let's just uh, try to run this. Okay, so let's uh, look at the result. Uh, in the first case, you got x uh, bound to the value 10. But then after that, there is something extra here. Okay. This says that x is 10, but it has type int. So, so this thing means x has the type t. Okay. So with that, let's read these things. It says that x is 10 and it has type int. The next binding says that hello is is a string. Okay. The, the binding for y is that y is one comma hello which is an element of the type int star string. So this is the Cartesian product of integers and strings. Okay, it's a it's a tuple whose first component is an int and the second component is a string. Uh, this says that z is an integer list. It's a list of integers. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, if I had something like val well, uh, z1 equal to glno world Okay. Uh, then if I compile this, I find that Z1 is a string list as opposed to int list. Okay. Uh, so this uh, clearly says that uh, each of these values that we have, 10 in this case, hello in this case, 1 comma hello in this case, uh, 1, 2, 3 in this case and hello comma world in this case they come with their own types 10 for example is an int hello is a string uh, hello with quotes one comma hello is a tuple um, and this uh, type consists uh, says that it's a tuple of uh, whose first component is an int and the second component is a string and uh, this binding says that z is an integer list uh, which is different from a string list so uh, lists come with uh, values all of which are, should be of the same type. Okay. So we saw that this uh, uh, small piece of code illustrates for us uh, that um, standard ML uh, values come with a type. Okay. So what is the point of this type? Okay. So the types uh, rule out certain programs. Okay. Uh, so, for example, if I write something like well, x equal to two plus hello. Okay. And if I try to run it, 
I get an error saying that it is not possible to uh, uh, it is not possible to do this because you cannot add a string to a um, uh, to an integer, right? This, this is not possible. Yeah. So it uh, rules out certain programs which otherwise it would have accepted. Okay. And uh, and uh, that's one point. And then I want to say something about this. So let's say that it's a type programming language. It's a typed programming language, and types are taken seriously. And strict or strongly. Okay, so, what do I mean by this? Okay. Let's look at something like this. X equal to. Um, 2.5 then y equal to x times 2 let's try evaluating this notice that we get an error again here okay uh, and why is this this is because let's look at the types so let's uh, see the bug is here so let me just comment this out and compile it out and you see that x is 2.5 but it is real okay it's of type real instead of 2 which is int okay and when I enable this uh, binding all hell uh, breaks loose because we are not allowed to uh, multiply a int with that of a real. Okay, so this is not allowed. So types in SML are taken pretty seriously. If you are uh, familiar with languages like C, what happens is that uh, x uh, uh, x times two uh, will succeed in the sense that Two will be converted to uh, a floating point number and multiplied with x, and the result finally put on y, put into y. Okay. Uh, whereas SML is pretty strict about conversion between integers and uh, reals, uh, and uh, you might think that this is pretty irritating. Uh, after all, we know that um, integers are subset of reals, so why wouldn't we want? Uh, uh, integers to be converted automatically uh, to uh, to reals. Uh, why should it be any other way? So to illustrate, let me uh, give you one small uh, uh, example. Okay, so this is um, so the so strict types are great for safety. So this is what I want to illustrate. Okay, the problem that we are taking is pretty simple. So the problem is uh, write a program to uh, take two numbers and compute its average. Okay, this is the problem. Let's uh, let's look at the solution. Let's write the code in C. So let's do that. So yeah, it's uh, double. The result is a double. Yeah. Uh, so we want to write a function which computes the average, and uh, average, as you know, is half of uh, x plus y. Right. So let's try it that uh, that way. Half of uh, x plus y. Okay. And uh, let's uh, run it.
Um, yeah, so I want to compute the average of let's say two and three. Okay. okay. So we should be getting something like one five. Okay. So let's just compile this. Uh, that's the bug. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the result seems to be zero. Clearly, zero is not the average of two and three. So let's look at this code slightly more carefully. Uh, our x and y are doubles. That's fine. But huh? So here you find that mistake, right? So it is one by two times x plus y. Okay. And 1 by 2, 1 and 2 being integers, 1 divided by 2 is 0, and this gives you 0, and silently it got uh, promoted to reals, so 0, the real number 0 times x plus y, and you ended up getting 0. That is clearly wrong. Let's fix it. And then let's try compiling it and running it. And here the result is 2.5 as expected. Okay. So uh, what I demonstrated to you is that uh, um, uh, automatically converting from integers to um, integers to uh, reals have consequences. Okay, like like this case. Okay, uh, here it was pretty obvious, but it is not very clear how. Uh, uh, I mean, how would we catch these bugs? Uh, and it is very well likely that uh, we might uh, forget to write this 2.0, something like this. Okay. So this is a bug. Uh, let's see how uh, SML works out here. Okay. And SML. And let's uh, kind of follow the same template, roughly. Yeah. Um, the way you define a function is through this fun keyword xy is uh, nothing but half times x plus y yeah. and let's compile this and the result is type error it says something about trying to multiply uh, two reals uh, I mean the operator expects a two reals but it got two integers okay okay so that's let's try seeing that and here uh, we find something has gone wrong so let's try this now that's still buggy because uh, now we have fixed two but not one and let's just compile this Ah, then there we have average which takes uh, two reals and produces a real. Okay, so uh, you see uh, the fact that uh, SML is much much more stricter than C when it comes to checking uh, types uh, rules out a class of bugs which uh, otherwise could be uh, pretty difficult to find. Okay. Uh, so the other point that I want to illustrate is here is that I never bother to really say that x and y uh, are of reals and all those things. It figured it out on its own. Okay. So this one line function actually is much more correct than this despite the fact that here I have to babysit the compiler with giving its type and all those things. Yet it was not able to catch the bug. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so uh, this says why uh, we would like to keep uh, type checking pretty strict as opposed to the loose uh, discipline of type that is uh, there in C. 